Hello Youtubers! This video is a part 3 of a small demo on how to control Mitsubishi VFD by Siemens S7-1200 series PLC and it also applies to S7-1500 PLC by the means of the Profinet. In this video I will go through the wire writing of the control program in TIA portal. So, First of all, as you remember, we have already created a new project with the S7-1200 series PLC and A8 NP A8 NPRT Profinet input-output device, which is connected to our uh, CPU. Okay, so we have uh, added a telegram standard telegram number one which is which is a standard uh, telegram for speed control okay so as our uh, hardware configuration is uh, created successfully now it is time to write our control program so First of all, I have created two PLC data types. Uh, one PLC data type is for control bits and another one is for status bits. So uh, let's see the control bits. So first bit is on, so it switches on the VFD. Uh, next bit is no coast stop, so it means that uh, there is no coast stop. As you can, uh, as you know, or maybe not, there are two types of uh, stopping uh, the VFD: it's stop by coast or quick stop. So when uh, next bit is quick stop, I already mentioned, then there is enable operation, enable. RAM generator which is not used and freeze RAM generator which is not used as well then enable set point fault acknowledgement so it simply resets the fault of the VFD and also jogging 1 and jogging 2 that are not used and control by PLC and as I already said, the next uh, PLC data type is for status bits. So here we get uh, those status bits from our VFD. So first one is uh, that uh, it is ready to switch on, then that it is ready to operate, then operation is enabled, then there is a fault, and uh, there is a coast stop, quick stop, and inverter is inhibited also there is a warning the next one is uh, says that uh, uh, speed is um, not uh, the current uh, speed of the vfd reached the um, uh, how to say reached the set point uh, then the control request and pulse is enabled okay so uh, you can find uh, more detailed information about these uh, bits in the manual of our Profinet card. So now let's go to the function block. Okay. So first of all, uh, in the function blocks uh, in interface, uh, you need to create uh, two integer type uh, variables where will be. Um, uh, assigned values for uh, status and control so it will be uh, values for uh, starting address of inputs and outputs as I rem as you remember I already told you that so here it is again goes to if we go to the device view here is that number the starting address of input and starting address of output okay right and then we need to set those bits power on switch on enable and reverse uh, forward and reverse directions now in the static um, in the static section i have added uh, uh, 
ZSW which will be a status bits and a status speed uh, STW uh, will be uh, uh, control bits and uh, set point is the is the um, speed for set point speed and nominal is uh, the is the value for uh, set point because uh, here is going to be used a NSOLL A 16 bit set point which is um, uh, how to say it is a percent over the uh, nominal speed of the motor uh, TMP STW well I don't need these actually those were only for um, for test purpose direction is I'm going to um, uh, how to say I'm going to code the direction of uh, of the VFD uh, because the direction of the VFD is uh, to rotate forward the value should be positive and uh, reverse rotation the value should be negative I mean set point value and TMP data is simply a data from the VFD and to the D VFD okay so First of all, I am reading uh, the data from the VFD into my variable TMP data. Okay, then I scatter those uh, word, word number one where all the bits of uh, uh, the, the status bits are uh, are coded, and I save them into ZSW. Okay, that that is basically array of uh, 16 bits and I, as I have already mentioned you there is a uh, this uh, calculation of uh, of the current speed by N S O O O L sorry N S O L L A so it will be set point but for in um, uh, for current value it is called N I S T A this 16-bit uh, speed actual value all right so I have already uh, those status bits and uh, I have a status speed next step is to create a control bits so first of all I need uh, to set uh, no coast stop and no quick stop after that if I get that uh, VFD is ready to switch on, I do switch it on. After I switch, after I send uh, the bit switch on, I should get um, from uh, the VFD that it is ready to operate. If it is so, I am, I am enabling uh, the operation. And after that, I enable the control by the PLC okay and here is um, here is uh, direction coded as you remember I, I already said that for uh, for the forward rotation the, 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 it should be positive value and for uh, reverse it should be negative value okay and here I um, here I do calculate this uh, set point and S O L L A. Okay. Then gather all the bits and send it to to um, uh, to the VFD. Those uh, scatter and gather uh, uh, functions you. This is basically a memory slicing, uh, and you can find uh, more detailed information about uh, memory slicing in my previous video. So, our control 
function block is ready uh, to to monitor and con to um, simplify the monitor and the control of the EFD, I have created uh, a scatter system. So now we can go online to see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, our VFD is inhibited and there is no quick stop bit this is a uh, this is a default uh, default uh, state after the power loss of the VFD so first of all let's power on okay so I already have got the answer that um, uh, quick stop and uh, there is no quick stop and no goes to stop and uh, BFD is ready to switch on so now I'm switching it on okay so now I've got the answer that uh, it is ready to operate now let's try to enable the operation okay so operation is enabled uh, pulses is enabled as well and VFD is waiting for commands to uh, rotate forward and reverse okay let's give a 50 Hertz and try and uh, try to rotate forward okay so as you can see it's uh, rotating forward at 50 Hertz now let's stop it let's try again stop okay so as you can see it, uh, this uh, bit speed within um, uh, speed within uh, uh, that the speed has um, reached the, 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 the set point after those values are equal okay now let's try reverse so as you can see this is a negative value let's stop it again stop it now let's try to forward okay let's change the speed okay let's increase it okay let's stop it now reverse now let's change the value to something like that 100 hertz oh, now it's not enough not enough space okay okay so as you can see our function works well so this is the basics of how to control the Mitsubishi VFD by the means of the Profinet. Thank you for watching.